Hello, Pete from Pete's World here. Well, after nearly 20 years, I'm finally, finally leaving Dundee to move away. A small little place called Portavadi on the west coast of Scotland, um, near Loch Finn, near the Mullican Tyre and that. Um, so I'll be doing a wee documentary on my on my journey in the west coast. So I'm just on my last walk around the area where I grew up. There's Octal Hill in the background there and the rest of Sidlow's. Just kind of a final memory. Um, before the big moves. But yeah, very excited and looking forward to showing you all about my, my life on the West Coast. Now, I won't be showing you what I'm doing for work or that, um, but, but I'll be working as a night porter, but I won't show you the actual work itself. But it's more to show you the area I'll be living in because it's a stunning area and with no cars, um, what I'll be doing on my days off as well. Having to get rely on ferries and buses, which don't work on Sundays and only do once every couple of hours. So, a bit of an adventure, a journey. Um, but about time, like I say, 20, 20 long years in Dundee. Don't get me wrong, I'll always love Dundee, it owes me my heart. And Om's always going to be here and all that, so... Yeah, we'll just wait and see what happens. And um, a few adventures this year as well, holiday-wise. So, just looking forward to getting back out there, meeting new people, and hopefully starting a, starting a new, as I say. Anyway, see you soon. Well, it's Tuesday the 9th of May. I've been living in Port of Arizal for two and a half weeks, and uh, so far it's all been going great. There's the, the ferry to Tarbert going out there. I've been on that a couple of times already. My days off I've spent mainly just relaxing and getting to know the people in the area. Luckily, I've managed to find myself a few good pals. So, looking forward to exploring with them in the summer. It's a very lovely area. But this is the view from my living rooms. Excuse the mess. Um, you know, I've got to share it with four people, but. You know, so it's all good. And uh, there's a wee hill there in Glen and Bay around the corner of that side of the, of the marina. And I'll show you around more later on, but yeah, this is the room. My view, sorry, from the living room. And what a view it is. Having a cup of tea here in the morning. Fantastic. Nice, nice head in there. the boats get put in the water because it's something to do <laughs> well for those wondering where i actually am in the world it's a uh, port of Addy on the carl peninsula which is this bit here isle of butte here and you can see the isle of Arran from certain points when you're walking around here tarbot's where i'm doing my shopping normally there is a bus service to the noon and that's the best way to get to glasgow but i'll just zoom out for you so there i am there where the, the, the mouse Else is. And there's Scotland there and there's Dundee there so that's how far I am away from where I put it up in that so there I am there and with a couple of days coming off soon I'll be looking forward to taking you on some of the actual day trips um, as part of my, my move to the west coast but yeah there we are there right there boom happy days First ever game of Shinte. Calves up by Pick versus Glasgow Mid Argyle. Come on. Isle of Butte over the water there. Isle of Butte. And uh, yeah, here we go. Well, I'm just out on one of my patrols at work. I thought I'd take five minutes just to show you the beautiful views. We've got an absolutely stunning day today. Uh, considering it's 8 o'clock in the evening, it's still warm. There's a hill I need to climb at some point. There's a wee island place there that I need to get to at some point as well. The sun, blue skies, felt a few clouds obviously, you know, but considering this is Scotland in May, can't really complain. The hills in the background there, that's the Isle of Arran. Just see a yacht coming through there, and the fish farms there. But what a fantastic evening to be having one of my foot patrols at work. Fantastic, absolutely loving the place so far. Uh, it'll be five weeks on Saturday since I've been here. Um, and after, I've got a two week holiday coming up and after that, 
that's when the real adventures start. I'll start showing you the real adventures because I'll have um, time to actually get out and about. I've settled in very well here so far after a month, but I'll get out and about more in the coming weeks and get you some more adventures. But it's just a fabulous, absolutely fantastic area to be called home just now. And I'll keep saying that. But, Well, after two long weeks, that's been back in Port of Arry. Um So back to it, back to work tomorrow. And on my days off, the adventures start properly. Summertime, apparently it's been really warm here the last few days. So no matter it'll probably rain for the next two or three weeks. Um, but hopefully not. But yeah, that's me back, back home. And um, like I say, this is when the adventure time starts for my days off when I'm not working. But I still just love this view, coming home to see all that. You know, after a long day travelling to get here, it's just nice to be back, cup of tea in hand, and seeing these views. But anyway, I'll see you soon. Well, first day back uh, since my holiday. Just fishing with my mate Brendan. And he's there, Brendan. And uh, managed to catch a nice wee fish there. Um, and I'm not lying, I'm not making this up, but there is no proof, because as we were trying to get the camera to film it, Brendan very kindly dropped it down some rocks. And now, now we, we don't know what to do. It was a good fish, it was definitely one I could have took home and I ate myself later on. So Brendan was me done now. But uh, good first day back, beautiful even for a wee fishing trip. And uh, hopefully before the end of this video I'll find another fish to catch and actually show you it. But until then, see you a bit. That's nice, that jellyfish. That's cool that like. Yeah. Like the current drag them. That would hurt this. Got a wee macro, wee macro, happy days. Well, I'm literally five minutes away from the resort and this is just a nice little path walk I do sometimes. Just look how beautiful and peaceful and quiet this area actually is. You know, it's it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And um, the great today just makes you want to jump in the water, but unfortunately I've got work soon so I can't. Not today anyway, so hopefully if the sun stays out this week or the next couple of weeks at least, I'll definitely get in the water at some point. But that's locked fine now. And yeah, it's just beautiful, absolutely stunning. Have a quick swim before the work, happy days. Although it's a fantastic place to live, one of the negatives about here is the amount of midges and they bite a lot and um, so my arms are covered in midge bites. Um, some days are not so bad as other days it is impossible to go for a walk just because you're getting absolutely bombarded by these little, little annoying things shall we say. This is a wee example of how many there are. Well, we an um, exciting pre pre work pre work trip to Austell Bay. On Google Maps, it's called Kilbride Bay, or East Kilbride Bay, or West Kilbride Bay, but Kilbride Bay. But yeah, it's known locally as Austell Bay. So let's go check it out. It's meant to be a beautiful beach. So we'll be swimming in the sea. Happy days. Get a wee video of the flies. It's on the YouTube, mate. <laughs> So made it to Austell Bay. Look how beautiful this is. Proper sand. Uh, Isle of Arran in the background there. Can't wait for a can't wait for a wee dip in the sea after this beautiful warm day. Happy days. <laughs> Be. Use your arm strength and pull yourself up that way. Put your hands in the middle. Here he is, he's got it. 
for him. Oh, he's gonna hear us pissing out ourselves laughing at these videos. But we had to fall off, yeah. <laughs> right, that's time, Pete. Front flip off the front. You what? Def front flip off of it. I can't flip. <laughs> <laughs> He can front, but he can't flip. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't even stand on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. He's <laughs> <laughs> a do it out. What a hand to stand up, though. <laughs> Yes, Queen! Oh. Oh, no! So a brilliant evening um, at Hostel Bay. Did try paddle bone for the first time, as you can tell by the videos. <laughs> Wasn't very good at the balance thing, but still very enjoyable. Had a great fun, good laugh with the guys and girls that were there. But just show you how close it is actually to where I am. So again, that's where I stay, Port of Valley, and that's Hostel Bay there, officially called Kilbride Bay. You know, when I was getting confused about what it was, it's Kilbride Bay, it's officially known as. Now there is a coffee shop somewhere here, yeah, at the buffet. Um, it was shut when we went there, but apparently it was really nice. So at some point I need to go there and try that. But yeah, look how quickly close it is to the from the beach to the marina where I stay. So happy days, yeah, brilliant. Recommend it. Well, that's today's plan. Another beautiful day play out that wee hill there and get the view of Port Valley hopefully up there as well. Nice quiet one. Well we made it to the top of the hill behind the house and there's the Port Valley Marina there so somewhere there's my flat but yeah I made it to the top so now it's just a wee drink. We're just taking a lovely view. Happy days. Cheers. Well, we're very lucky we've got an absolutely stunning day again today. I can't remember the last time I've seen a cloud, um, let alone a bit of rain. So another day off as well, happy days. And uh, the plan is to go to Tarbot on the ferry. Tarbot's the nearest town, but you'd have to get a ferry to get there. It's over the lock fine. Uh, it's only a 20 minute ferry, it's not too long at all. But yeah, kick about with Tarbot for the day. Uh, we've got a few folk coming. Uh, hopefully have a couple of drinks, a couple of walks and adventures. And yeah, just see what Tarbot is. I, I try and get to Tarbot at least once a week, just to get away from the away from here, just to see civilization, see actual people, an actual pub, you know. So happy days. But yeah, we'll get there, and I'll bring you along with us. Nice little town here. Beautiful. It does smell of fish though, but it's all right. If you're ever in Tarbot, make sure to come to the deli. Cracking spot, great view, excellent food. Let's get a burger. There it is, the best burger in Britain. The one fine burger. Can't wait, look at that. Chicken, bacon, cheese. And that's Tarbot Castle there. No, but the Bruce helped build that at some point, apparently, according to the plaque. It's a nice two, three minute walk from the town centre, so nice and easy access. Part of the Kintyre away, which is a nice long walk. Um, but yeah, Tarbot Castle.
Beautiful. In the big garden now. Cheers. You know, I agree. Um, Karen's the national body you got. Now, the rain has come back, luckily, thankfully. Uh, we just had about a week and a half there, just non stop sun. Which you, I don't want to complain about because you know it's sun. But even working night shifts, um, sweating during the night and then trying to sleep during the day, hardly slept because um, it was too warm to sleep in the room during the day. But we had to go for a nice wee wander um, just before I start work tonight. So I'm going to take you to Glennon Bay just now. Um, it's a nice little bay, nice little spot. So I'll take you there, Glennon Bay. It's about a five, ten minute walk from staff accommodation there. And uh, yeah, so go sit there for five, ten minutes before I need to start getting ready for work. And now that's Glennon Bay. Happy days, that little settlement in the distance there. That's Tarbert. That's um, a little, well, it's not an island, but a little, we call it the island anyway. And you can walk up that, I've done that a couple of times and I'll uh, take you up another day. But yeah, Glenn Bay, nice little spot just to chill, throw a few rocks into the sea. Just nice to just sit around and just look at really. But there you are there, Glenn Bay. Ribbit. Another day, another adventure. This time, Asgok Lock and Castle. I think that's how it's pronounced anyway. Asgok. A S G O G. I'll let you be the judge of how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, so it's only meant to be a 45 to 50 minute walk from Port of Adi, so not too far. Um, and there's a nice wee spot for swimming, apparently, there. And an old ruined castle. Um, looking at the photos and Google images, it looks like it's just. A couple of bits of stone, but we'll check it out and see what we can find. Yeah, looking forward to it. There's a few of us going, so a nice day out, nice walk in this weather. At least it's cooled down a bit, it's not as hot as it was. And um, it was getting to the point where it was too hot, which you can't complain about in this country. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, happy days. Google Maps. We actually came quite far. And in the background there, that's the hill we climbed the other day. Beautiful. Port of Valley just there, not too far now. Just got to go down that wee path there. Happy days. the first little lock this isn't the one we're going to mini one. but it's a mini one so we'll keep going we're nearly there let's go team <laughs> and we can now see it in the background there so we are nearly there not a long walk at all and look at that backdrop there with the hills in the background looking forward to sitting up there for a bit jumping in nice hot day get cooled down with that stunning and we've made it to Asgog Castle as you can see it's not the best castle, it's seen a some castle. better days. That's a ruin. But we're going there. Uh, exactly. 
We'll go and explore it now, innit? Are you Green and Castle? No, no, no. Green and Castle is sick because it's more of a good view. Have you been in? It's definitely seen better days, like. Oh, you can check. I'll go on now. Look at that. You look cool. Beach world! Duncan, go on. Found the wee door, eh? And you can. Ow! You can't make it out very well. But I've got a wee tick. <laughs> a wee tick on my arm. That's the one thing about living here as well, you've got to watch out for is the ticks. They like to like to, to attach to you and take away all your blood, so hopefully I can get something to take this out soon because it's stuck in there. It's a naughty looking cloud that isn't it? It's not all sunshine in it. Still beautiful. Well, we're in off the ferry and we're going to the oyster catcher. Might be a famous restaurant. So looking forward to it. The boy Duncan and pretty. Uh, another gorgeous evening here in Otto Ferry. That's a for a seal. Wow. Thanks, Dave, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Windy one tonight. Whoa, 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 see you go. I don't think it's looking as good as it was looking last year. It's not, no. Working there now. Look at that now. Happy days. And sorry, that's the end of um, Porto Valley. Um, time to go back to Dundee for a bit. Um, doing a bit of travelling with my mum, so we'll be getting some more videos. And all going well. I'll be back here in two months' time. Um, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But absolutely love my time here. Um, it's been a fantastic little place. Gonna miss it. Um, the scenery here is beautiful, the people here are fantastic, people from all around the world, both working here and customers that I've met. Um, just, just a fantastic, fantastic place and I'm, I'm going to miss it a lot. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and like I say, fingers crossed we'll be back here in two months. Um, but as always, keep it real and Pizza will bring you more videos soon. All the best.